And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, draws to a close our adventurous time at Lawn Hill National Park. Time for us to head off and continue on adventuring somewhere else. Well, we've left off from Lawn Hill and we're making our way around to what turned into Borolula, I think, today. We'll probably be getting in there quite late. Um, especially because of the fact that we're pulled up here on the side of the road and we have a basically an hour long wait as there's construction going on on this road. <laughs> How much is fuel? Dollar sixty. Burger time. Well, we found our campsite for the night after a fairly long day of driving. Stopped off for that well-deserved burger. And now we are here at this absolutely gorgeous and spectacular billabong. Well, I think this is a good thing for me to document on the trip, considering it's probably the biggest injury so far, I would say. Yep. Um, yeah, this shoe down here, Hamish's lovely thong that he lent me, all of that red you juice that, by the way. is um, my blood. I've decided to drop a knife on my foot because I thought that might be fun while making damper, and yeah. Whoops. Okay, well the good news is, is that we use the sat phone and apparently I'm not going to die. Who knows? Not today. Not today, anyway. I think that gives you another 15 years to figure out how to do that. <laughs> but, um, well, I only want to make it to 40, so... That's another 18 years, then. Yeah. But did you feel like painting anything on your car, like, blood red? We could just splurge that on that bonnet. Love your work. Uh -huh. You should be a doctor, is what you should do. You know, I did a whole bunch of competent, uh, competency tests, or aptitude tests, before I left high school. Mm -hmm. And uh, I did th three of them, and twice the result I got is that I should be an anaesthetist. I can't even pronounce the word, so I really wouldn't go down <laughs> very well, I don't think. And what's that? It's a person who, who administers anaesthesia uh -huh. in operations. What an important job. Mm. I've got heaps of these things, dude. It's fine. I'm just going to burn this one. Okay, hang on, before you open it up, because I think putting a sock on will make it easier for me to put my shoe on. Yeah, you put this on and then the sock, socks have got fuck all pressure to them. Yeah, but, okay, yep, why not? It was more just the size of that to try and then put my foot in the shoe. Are your shoes super tight? No. Nah, they'll stretch. <laughs> You're so good at that. <laughs> just downplaying things, mate. I just want the real answer. Are your shoes good or not? Uh, I don't think we need that. I think a sock and this will do. Tell you what, we can give it a go, and if I need more, then we can open that up. Okay, never mind. Too late. Well, what a very interesting turn of events. Went from a day of doing not a great deal, apart from driving and getting a burger, to, yeah, me cutting my foot open, which was quite exciting with the amount of blood that flew out. It was um, 
a little bit worried about whether I had taken a vein out or not. However, I got in touch with some people and using the sat phone tested that out and it's all good. It's all good. We'll um, go to the doctors tomorrow and get it taken. The bugs here are crazy. Taken a look at. But um, yeah, so just back to making some damper. Fires sort of dwindled a bit, so Hamish is off getting some more wood to get him going. But yeah, today's been a little bit exciting actually. I've been around the world a couple of times and maybe more. Seen the sights, I've had delights on every foreign show.